July 16th, the Southern New Mexico Correctional Facility in Doña Ana County. The nurse had just finished passing out medication. Several inmates gathered around a pod door and the attack was on, spilling through the door and into a hallway. From this angle, you only see the beginning. Those two inmates outside the door looked like they were trying to block it shut. Here's the angle from inside that hallway. Both officers attacked. One of the brawls moves farther down, the other right in front of you. The inmates kicking the officer after he went down. At one point, it was five on one. The officer gets up to fight back though, but in the end, he's just outnumbered. At one point, the inmates leave him and get on their knees facing the wall. Here's the third angle of surveillance, the other officer being attacked. Two inmates and later, several more join in. But then other officers come to the rescue. Inmates move to the wall. There's the tear gas. The whole thing lasted about a minute and a half. I want to point out the staff response that evening. It was very calculated. It was very professional. The two officers were rushed to the hospital. And now, just a couple weeks after this, a grand jury returned an indictment. Seven inmates in all were charged with things like kidnapping, assault, and attempted murder. The significance of these charges are great. The violence that was inflicted upon these officers is reflected by the finding of probable cause by the grand jury.